All right, so now we need to download and install the drivers for the download cable. Uh, we have two different cables, so make sure you're watching the video for the correct one. This one is for the USB um, mini one. So this is the thicker USB cable. It's not the Android phone charger one. All right, so we'll go ahead. The first thing you need to do is connect it up. So plug in the USB cable into the computer and in the bottom corner of your Smart Inventor board. Then flip the first switch up and press the reset button. If you do all this, this LED over here should start blinking after a few seconds. And if it doesn't, try hitting the reset button again or make sure the switch is up. Once it is, we can go ahead and download the driver. We want to download the CP210X driver. Uh, here's the link for that. Um, make sure you download the one from up here um, for your operating system and not any of the ones down here. It's not a newer version. It's These are the correct ones that we need for ours. So you can go ahead and click download and wait for it to download. Alright, so once it's downloaded, we can go check in your documents folder. Um, here it should be the CP210X, and I have Windows, so it's underscore Windows. So we're going to go ahead and install this file. So it's going through, getting ready to install. Alright, and then we'll just click next, read through this, and accept. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it in the default place. Um, I already have installed, so it's just giving me a warning. I'm going to click install. And now it'll go through and actually install it. Alright, so it'll ask us to click next. We'll accept the agreement after we read through it all. Then we'll click next and finish. And now we are done. So we've gotten this driver successfully installed.